Finally back on the ice for the first time tonight since uh, December the 30th. The Niagara Ice Dogs in town and uh, players might be needing names in the front of their jerseys for the Bulldogs so they know who each other are after the Dogs made a number of moves at the deadline. One of them is Hamilton's own Arbor Jack guy who is joining his hometown team from Kitchener and makes his morning live debut this morning. Hello Arbor. Hey Tim, how's it going? Hey buddy. How are you man? I got you. I'm good. Oh, I don't hear yeah. you. Oh, there we go. Awesome. I hear you, I hear you man. Did I, did, I, did I pronounce your name properly? That's first and foremost. Yes. Yes, you got it. Because, because listen, um, <laughs> when I saw your name for the first time, I'm like, I have no idea. I and mean, you probably get that a lot. Can we bring up, can we bring up the board? Because what, what, what do you hear a lot when you, Arbor's the easy one, but it's your, it's your last name. So what nationality is your last name, Arbor? It's, uh, it's Albanian. Albanian. Okay, so like, what do you? What did you get in school? Like, when the teacher in the first day of school tried to pronounce your last name? I don't know. Like, everyone always asks that question, but like, you you get everything. You get Czechja, uh, ex Exaja. Like, you you just you get everything. So. Right on. Well, it's good to know. It's Jack Eye. It's nice and simple, and it's good to have you back in Hamilton. Uh, what's it like being back in your hometown? Oh, it's good actually. I moved moved back home with my family, so. We're not we're not too far from the rink where I'm right in central Hamilton, so it's awesome. Right. Are you short your, drive to the rink. Are you in your old room? Yeah. What's <laughs> what's your what's your old room looking like? What did your parents do to it? Oh nothing. It's it's still the same, but <laughs> yeah, it's it's what, good to be back. What's the coolest thing in your room? What do you think? Uh I'm not in my room right now, but probably probably my trophies behind me. It's probably the coolest thing. Okay, you got, you got a few of those. Here's the thing: you got a really interesting, um, really interesting career because you weren't drafted into the OHL. You did really well with the Kitchen Rangers. Now with the Hamilton Bulldogs, you were not drafted into the NHL, but did really well this past year um, at training camp with the Montreal Canadiens, signing a three-year deal. What's going on there? What what's inside of you that you're not getting drafted? Is it a little chip on your shoulder to prove to people that they missed out? Yeah, definitely a big thing that I hold is proving people wrong and you just got to believe in yourself and if you know you can do it, then you got to, once you get the opportunity, you got to go out there and get it, so. Awesome, man. Did you, were you a Montreal Canadiens fan growing up as a kid or who did you cheer for? Yeah, actually, me and my dad, we would always go to the AHL Bulldog games and they were affiliate for Montreal, so yeah. we'd see all their guys getting called up to Montreal, like Subban, Price, Pacioretty, so I was, we were Montreal fans too, so. It's pretty awesome. Uh, so, I mean, your parents got to be pumped that you're back in town too. Yeah, they they are. They're fired up. <laughs> yeah, right. Where did you Where did you play minor hockey, uh, Arbor? I played for the Hamilton Huskies growing up, and then I went to Toronto and played for the Titans for two years, and then Mississauga Sens. Okay, thanks, man. Um, like best part of your game, physicality? Would you say? Yeah, I'd say I'm a big physical presence, and uh, I know how to shut it down in the back end, but. I also chip in in the offense too, so. Yeah. Bit, bit of everything. So how did you get through, like listen, last year was tough because like you didn't play at all. Like how did you get through the, the mental aspect of it, the physical aspect to then be able to show up at, at Habs training camp and impress and be able to sign a three year deal? So what did you get up to last year? Yeah, it was tough, man. It was, it was really tough mentally to stay into it and, and keep training, but I just stuck with it and kept training every day and just kept pushing myself because I knew there was a there was a goal I had and I wanted to reach that goal so I kept training kept skating and there was there was a couple of rinks that were open here so we just right. we stayed on the ice and even when they closed down is in the winter and we got on the pond a lot so it was good you just got I just stayed in the gym did I hear that you worked at Costco too to pick up some hours and uh, work on the physical side picking up all those boxes yeah once we once the season got shut down and COVID was the the new thing and so I got a job at Costco and I worked there for for nine months and it was good I mean it's it's money so yeah, can't right. complain totally man do you know anybody on the team yeah I definitely know a few guys I I skated with uh Matty Turk who's one of the guys there and he brought a lot of their guys and before their rookie camp they had skates and I was I was at all of them so I got to meet a a bunch of the guys there. Well, listen, you got Mason McTavish on the team now too, so that's got to be pretty something. I know you've probably gone up against Mason a few times, but he was the third overall draft pick. Uh, what's it like to be able to play with Mason now? Yeah, it's awesome. He he had his first practice yesterday, and he absolutely ripped it up. So everyone's like, we're all we're all fired up to have him, man. He's a 
he's just a he's a pro pro NHL player in this league, so it's really good to have him. Well, listen, we're uh, we're very excited to have you as well back in your hometown. I know your mom and dad can't go to the games, or nobody can go to the rink, but you're still able to be part by participating in the online 50-50. Funds go to uh, Bulldogs Foundation to support their breakfast program. So every game day, that means today, you can go online and purchase tickets. Raffle ends after the second intermission. So that is bulldogs5050.com. Arbor Jackeye, back in town, playing for his hometown, Bulldogs. Great appearance on Morning Live. Good luck tonight, Arbor. Thanks a lot, man. Thank you.